Ladies and gentlemen, your calculators are very, very powerful functions. If I have sine pi over 4 and I want you to evaluate, and let's say just to do to the hundredth, you can simply just take in sine and then take your pi divided by 4. Therefore, this answer is going to be 0 0.014. All right. Um, as I go ahead and round it. Now, a lot of people go and look at the cosecant and they say, well, how do I do, how am I going to now do cosecant? You know, I don't see a cosecant function. And a lot of them want to use the inverse. But sine and cosecant are not inverses of each other. They are reciprocal functions of each other. So remember, when I talked about points on the unit circle, I said sine, when a point was on the unit circle, or sine of theta, that equaled the y coordinate. And cosecant of theta equaled 1 over y. Correct? OK. Well, if I wanted to solve for y, right, this is the same thing as um, I could also say that y equals 1 over cosecant of theta. If I multiply by y and divide it by cosecant of theta. Um, so what I'm trying to tell you is that is still going to be equal. The 1 over cosecant of theta is equal to sine. Okay, These are going to be equal signs. So when I'm writing cosecant of theta, what I'm going to do is I can't evaluate for cosecant. But what I can do is put this over 1 and evaluate for sine. So it would be 1 over sine of 1.43. So what I do is I do 1 divided by sine of 1.43. And that equals 40.071. OK? There you go. So cosines, let's see if I remember. Cosines even, sine is odd.